What's going on everybody? Today I would like to share the knowledge regarding Windows PowerShell, more precisely how to extend Zabbix functionality by using the user parameter and allowing using PowerShell one-liners so you can pull the metrics from PowerShell. PowerShell one-liners usually are producing text in the output and text in general is bad because it has to be stored inside the database and it will consume more disk space. So it's better to somehow find a way to convert these textual values to numbers and then use numbers inside the front end. So this video will be all about text conversion in PowerShell to make sure we are delivering numbers to Zabbix server. Let's start. At first I would like to show one command, for example get scheduled task. It is a command which will list all the scheduled tasks in the Windows system. Right here are the list and if we are looking more uh, what attributes one task can have, the answer is uh, each task can have a task path, task name and state. And for this example it looks like we can be interested the most in the task state. And the beauty in PowerShell it is an object-oriented language so these attributes can be il easily extracted after the pipe uh, and it can be done by writing a pipe and writing for each and curly parentheses open dollar sign underscore dot and just specify what you are interested the most and that's it now when you run this command again it will instantly print the state on screen and we are interested in this the most. Uh, let's grab another examples from different tasks. What, what, what are the variations in output for this example? For uh, let's, let's grab another thing. Uh, the task can also be in state ready and also the task can be in state running. Let's uh, see the second example here. Uh, it produces the state ready and the last one it's running. So free outputs for, uh, for the task can be in the PowerShell. What we can do to, to deliver these state states as a numbers to the server and there is a, a thing we can execute a replacement a replace operation and uh, replace these values with numbers and this can be done inside the same loop where we are uh, printing the state on screen just write a dash and there is a common replace and now inside the double quotes write all the variations disabled after the comma you must write what is the replacement it's a zero also space and dash again and replace and repeating the similar pattern re ready will be replaced with the one and the last one replace running with number two for example and I will clone this scenario for all of the cases let's see how it performs for these three situations we'll select the first case let's run the command it's a zero for this task for the second one it's a one and for third one it's a two and as a part for this demonstration let's try to list every task and execute this substitution here after the pipe so the command looks like this and running 
it shows that all the states for each task get substituted. If I uh, cut one substitution out and run again this uh, task, it represents that I did miss something and there is a string on the output and this is not how you deliver values to the server. So it's uh, required to leave everything there. Okay, how we can put this command inside the user parameter? It's quite simple. At first, uh, I'm uh, using, let's say, like best practice how to extend the functionality. I'm including include directive, and inside this directory, there must be installed all the user parameters. And I, for this example, I did install here the user parameter with the name get scheduled task state which accepts arguments and after the comma I'm executing the PowerShell without the logo and the command in the double quotes and then after the parentheses I'm using the very same command which I did execute in the PowerShell console so get scheduled task task name and here comes the very first argument because I would like to argument all these services and then dynamically specify from Zabbix server side and after the pipe there comes the loop for each of the service we will extract only the state and then replace all the uh, possible string values with numbers and here because we did make one double quote here and it must be end here then all the double quotes which is uh, installed practically inside the PowerShell command must be escaped inside the user parameter these quotes are not required to be escaped but inside the actual PowerShell command you are required to escape these quotes and that's it and uh, now we can test the if this is working if this user parameter are working uh, directly at first from the command line from the main server uh, this user parameter is installed I will restart the Zabbix agent so we, it will pick up the functionality right now let's try to execute the command Zabbix get IP address of this station port number 10050 and key is the key from here and inside the square brackets I will specify one of the service name from here for example this one and the output from uh, the first service is zero let's try with other services and the very last one yes it it works and as we can see powershell executing powershell commands is quite time consuming it takes at least one second to complete so the timeout applies in the zabbix configuration file timeout equals uh, right now I have installed it as a 30 seconds uh, it's too much for the, for for the production I would uh, leave it with the file I, I say now we can go to the front end and set these items opening up items directly from the my machine and I will create the very same items which I did execute directly from the command line it is recommended to select Zabbix agent active and now let's take the actual user parameters together with the arguments and put inside the key here the update interval let's have it like 10 seconds setting the item name here 
let's call it a task and add one metric here let's open it up again clone pick a different argument here add and the very third one add okay now the items are installed let's uh, reload the server cache and also to speed up the metrics we can restart the Zabbix agent and the metrics should be instantly delivered to the latest data page and here are but uh, these numbers are not human readable and it's uh, recommended to create a mapping and this can be done under the administration general there is a section value mapping I will create a new value map like uh, task monitoring and 0 stands for disabled 1 stands for ready and 2 stands for running add going back to the items items here let's select all these three guys click mass update show value and there should be our newly created mapping update and now when we are going to the monitoring latest beta page all these values has been translated to to original state for the service okay guys thank you for watching the video